Hello, my name is Dr. Christina Holbein. My co-authors, Dr. Kathy Zabracki, Mrs. Colleen Bechtel Driscoll, Mrs. Jackie Lennon Papadakis, Dr. Elizabeth Bruno, Dr. Grayson Holmbeck, and I recently published a paper in the March 2017 issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology titled Milestone Achievement in Emerging Adulthood and Spina Bifida, a Longitudinal Investigation of Parental Expectations. Our study examines the changes in parents' expectations over time of adulthood milestone achievement for their children with spina bifida. We were interested in the following milestones, independent living, college attendance, full-time employment status, getting married, and becoming parents. We also investigated whether parents' expectations were related to milestone achievement once children had reached young adulthood, and attempted to describe differences in milestone achievement between young adults with spina bifida and typically developing comparisons. What's already known about this topic is that 18 and 19 year olds with spina bifida are less likely to achieve early adulthood milestones. While parents of youth with disabilities tend to endorse positive long-term goals for their futures, lower expectations are usually reported for young people with intellectual or cognitive disabilities. Research suggests that parents' expectations for their children fluctuate during the child's development, with parents of youth with developmental delays adjusting their expectations over time based on their child's present abilities. Learning more about parental expectations is important because it's believed that optimistic expectations for future functioning are positively related to later outcomes and may act as a source of motivation. Our article features several new additions to the literature. First, we found that while parents of youth with spina bifida tended to be relatively optimistic regarding their child's later achievement of adulthood milestones, they also reported declining expectations over time and this decline was larger in magnitude for youth with lower cognitive abilities. Second, we were somewhat surprised to find that parents' expectations assessed in childhood and adolescence were unrelated to their child's actual achievement of those milestones in young adulthood. We also extended previous findings of disparities in young adulthood milestone achievement by demonstrating differences between young adults with spina bifida and typically developing comparisons at the ages of 22 and 23 years of age. As you can see in this figure, young adults with spina bifida, the green bars, were less likely than typically developing peers, the blue bars, to achieve each of the milestones that we studied. We conclude that healthcare providers serve an important role in helping families of youth with spina bifida, set realistic goals for their future, increase their social and independent living skills, and to make connections with community resources. Thanks so much for watching, and feel free to contact us with any questions that you may have at the contact information provided in the paper.